Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to New Nerdington. The very first thing you might notice is um, I changed the color profile from tropical to boreal, I think. Uh, I, I have a feeling that this color profile makes the colors look a little bit more a true to life, if you will. A little bit more accurate and less artificially warm or something. I, I kind of prefer it this way. Possibly. We'll see uh, what I do in the next episode, but uh, for the time being, I quite like this. Anyway, I added a little bit of detail to the train station, as you can clearly see here. I downloaded a bunch of different train props, and I added them to the... Oh, there goes the 7 o'clock. I don't know what time it is. Uh, and I added them to the sort of train yard out here. Then... Oh, yeah, I... <laughs> Obviously, because I'm Dutch, and there's a, a ridiculous amount of Dutch train props on the workshop uh, as, as well. It's like, might as well, you know, have some cultural heritage in there. And there goes the 8 o'clock back. Very nice. Um, yeah, added some Dutch trains in here as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and two little vans, as well as some street lights, or actually they're airport lights. I don't know if they work properly, or if they are just props, but we uh, will have a look at that later. I want to add some bushes and stuff in here as well to make it look a bit more lively, but for the time being, I think this is, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Eh? It works. This is the uh, the 1015 uh, International. Not International, Intercity. Shit, I almost made that nice and fluent, but uh, no, not quite. Uh, let's uh, actually follow the 1015 Intercity, because it goes past... Our little town here. Let's see what happens here. Those should close. Yeah. That sound is so annoying. The sound of these uh, ambulances. Are you going to open again? That takes a bit long. I wish that took a bit less long. Uh, but good. Good to see that that works. And how are we doing over here-ish? Nice. I really still quite like this. If I feel like it could do with a little bit more flair, perhaps. But uh, for the time being, really quite a big fan of this. And I think we are still gaining a population as well, which is good. However, what's less good is holy fucking shit. Oh, yeah, I can't pause. That's a thing. Uh, I already smashed the pause button there. Uh, but yeah, let's go all the way out here and kind of redo our water pumping situation. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, just so that we have some uh, some spare, I guess. Uh, oh, wait, all of my snapping ever is turned off. So let's have you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. And then you can pull in all the way to the city in the corner over. Are you connected? Possibly? No, I feel like you're not connected. Uh, well, let's see. Let's pull off a, um, a power line from... Hmm. Do you fit underneath here? Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, that's actually not very nice. Let's see. Ooh, you'll definitely come from down under there. Uh, we'll definitely have to change that up again. But, uh, yeah, let's see. You now have power. Well, you do actually seem to... Are you connected? No, you're definitely not connected. Okay, let's uh, delete you. And that means that I have to turn clipping or snapping there back on inroads anarchy. That's slightly annoying that that also applies to the other snappable, ploppable things. But uh, hey, oh, it uh, should be fine now. Oh, yeah, and of course, our sewage situation isn't much better. Uh, I'm going to delete these water. Pumps. How many are there? Six. So I added two in total, but uh, yeah, they'll be fine. Let's uh, add some water pumps sort of out here. Let's make... Actually, nope. Um... Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to add some here and then later on make a sort of nice... Uh, nicer looking uh, water out station. I don't know how many that is. That is seven. I can add one more to make it even with the intake we have. You go there. You go sort of in, in there about. That's perfectly okay. 
Let's give you some electricity as well. Um, let's see. So, how about we take you from there? Do you want to do that? You seem to be wanna wanting to do that. Okay, that's good. I don't want you to be out of city limits. That is highly annoying. There we go. Uh, just like along the water line. That's okay. And in there. And now... Those problems are fixed, question mark. How are we doing for electricity, actually? We're almost out of electricity as well. Okay, but those guys are back up and running. That means that I can now get rid of these friends. They have served me well, but uh, I don't want them there anymore. I want them further removed from the city. Uh, and that means that these guys, the underground pipes, can also sort of get going. There we go, very nice. Uh, same for you guys. I know that this is somewhat inefficient because I don't get all of the money back, but we are swimming in money after our <laughs> slight issues in the... Was it the last episode? I haven't recorded in a while, so I can't quite remember if it was the last episode or the episode before that we had some slight financial squabbles. Okay, this, uh, this intake uh, situation and the exit situation as well, I guess, are not quite as powerful as I thought they might be. So let's help them out a bit more. Add another few of these guys over here. And do something like that. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I think that is uh, that is pretty good. That works. Okay, um, the first thing that I actually wanted to do today was to add a, a cargo station. Because this line here, the inner line, the, the line on the right... That one is uh, supposed to be for cargo trains exclusively so that cargo trains can go through the city uninterrupted uh, and sort of come out here. Wow, that's such a mess. Um, and then, you know, do their own thing. But I want to add a cargo station hereabouts. I think that might work very well for us indeed. Um, although I'm not 100% sure on what site I'm supposed to uh, do that. Let's uh, have a look. Does... No, cargo trains won't really fit under that tiny overpass, will they? Hmm. Let's see. So what about... Hmm. Difficult situation, this. Um, let's see, because I don't want them to pass over sort of there-ish, but what we can do is upgrade, that's what we can do actually, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this road, um, while I'm talking, might as well just do it, um, upgrade that road into being a bridge, and there, and then one of you, there you go, and then I need to take you, up significantly. Ooh, <laughs> that looks a bit uh, bonky, but you know, it's fine. Uh, let's see, so you need to go up, and then you, I'm guessing, need to go up a little bit as well, which might look a little bit silly. Yeah, you can probably go down a little bit, actually. And then the cargo trains can fit underneath there quite nicely. Right, so cargo trains I want to have going in... Because I want to make this into a small industrial area. I've changed my mind about having this be the industry because this doesn't work clearly. This is just way too, you know, compact. So I want to spread the industry sort of around the city a bit more. So we have more even flow of traffic and even, uh, you know, distribution and all that. Uh, right, this is a busy road, but it's only a busy road because it is full. Uh, are you being emptied, actually? Uh, you're almost empty, so you're fine to be opened back up. You're still emptying. Uh, because it's full of uh, garbage, disposal trucks, and that sort of thing. So that's why this road is a little bit busy. This crossing will probably turn into a roundabout at some point. But, uh, right, let's pull a cargo station. That is very white. I'm sitting in a relatively dark room right now. And... This uh, is very light indeed on my eyes. Let's uh, have a look. Cargo train station is there. Just a 
standard cargo terminal needs to be placed on the road. This is a highway, so of course that doesn't want to be on there properly. Okay, let's... Uh, holy shit, that's dark. Oh, actually, do these lights work? Yes. Oh, that is so nice that these uh, these airport lights work really well in this area. It gives it just enough light to be able to see. That is actually... <laughs> that's kind of weird, actually, that these sites are not very well illuminated unless I hover over it with my mouse. Yeah, but uh, I'm quite happy with that. Looks really cool from above now with those little airport lights spread out in there. <laughs> those lights also look really cool. I really like how this city is going to get their shite on a bike. Shite on a bike? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let me catch up with you. I installed a whole bunch more train mods as well. So these guys are just sort of random... Uh, American style trains like I know that my palette of trains doesn't make sense at all like these guys you will only see in the Netherlands this guy is still a standard city skylines train and then there's these random American trains buzzing about the place as well so no it doesn't make any sense but I do quite like how you know it's coming together we won't be looking at it from uh, too much up close anyway right so what I wanted to do here is have a bit of a a roundabout because roundabouts are brilliant and particularly useful in some instances so let's have you uh, removed <laughs> I do apologize and um, right so what kind of road are we gonna use for our roundabout I want to pull that road out a little bit further so that is just a standard road I think let's have a look just something like just like three more, I guess. That's uh, that's okay. Oh, right. I'm still working above ground. Let's make that on the ground. Okay, okay, okay. Good indeed. And then I need a one-way two-lane road. I feel like two lanes might be a bit much here, to be honest. I can see how far we can get with just a standard um, one lane roundabout we'll see how that works for us all right so far so good train station has been plunked down i just need to figure out a way to have the the trucks who pull out of the train station sort of turn around so what i think i'm gonna do is go one and then two uh let's see that might be a bit much let's see what about two and two does that work? I, I want to make a, a sort of roundabout situation here, but that does mean that I need to kind of pull a road out of here first. Uh, so one, I feel like the, the one, two, two length was okay. So let's go back to here then. And I need, what's this? With parking, nope, definitely don't want parking on this road. So two, 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 uh huh, two, 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 and again, there we go. Okay, I feel like that'll do for this, uh, this place here, but the only thing that's missing, obviously, is a train line to the actual, you know, train line. So, uh, let's get that organized. Let's just use standard two lane, two railway. I, uh, feel like that'll be fine for us. Is that straight? That is somewhat straight. How does that fit under there? That will go under there quite nicely, I feel. Uh, and what can I pull off there? Okay, that works. Uh, let's see. Something like that-ish. I'll, hmm, I'll have a fix of that in in a second as in in right now uh come on grab you you have to be somewhat straight there we go and then we can go back to the building side of things to there-ish and from there we can pull in to here that is near perfection Ooh, that is really good actually yeah, I like that. And then in here, I might do another sort of small train yard for just the uh, the cargo situation in here. I think that'll be quite cool. 
uh, what I'm gonna do with this area, I don't quite know yet. Maybe I can do like a small commercial area sort of in here. Uh, but then again, I don't wanna attract too much people or too much traffic to this place because it's already, you know, it's not congested by a long shot, but it's definitely busy. So what I'm kind of scared of, I uh, I do want to see what happens here though, because this uh, this has been put to work. So let's have a stair here and uh, speed up time for a little bit and see if we can have a uh, a cargo train pull in, because that'll be quite excellent. Actually, while we're waiting, I've come to the conclusion that this is cool, but it does mean that cargo trains cannot turn back and go into the city properly and by an extent through the city and into this area later on. So, ah, uh, that doesn't quite work. Are you a cargo train? What? Hang on. Let's have a quick pause to see what you are. You're like a double-decker train. That's really cool. Streamline bi-level commuter. All right, I'll, I'll take it. You're commuting a lot of passengers into here right now, my friend. That's really cool. You're not carrying that many people. Uh, let's actually see what happens, because that guy was carrying so many people. So I just want to sort of see what happens when he pulls in here. Do they stream out of this side of the station, or do they stream out of the other side? Let's see, everyone go off. Everyone's going into the underground. What's happening here? Ooh, a lot of cars spawning. What about on this side? Nothing's... Go oh, there. there's a bit of people coming out on this side. A lot of dogs, surprisingly. All right, cool. Good to see that that all works properly. Uh, but yeah, this needs a... Okay, you're the same train. You're not a cargo train that I just missed. Uh, but yeah, this needs to have a loop back into the city. So uh, let's have a go at that. Oh, and look at what is coming in there. That is a, uh, a cargo train. That's a really cool cargo train as well. An AFT long hopper. Ah, the AFT long hopper disappeared. But wow, that uh, that works. That is excellent. I am really, really happy about that. So, one of those huge trains creates four, five. How many is that? Five-ish. Little, uh, no, six. Six trucks. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, but um, this is the situation as it looks now. Train station we've already seen, and then this is what I've done with. Uh, the crossing so people can now this works properly I think as well no glitch is visible really uh, this track is banned for uh, or actually rather passenger trains are banned from this track and I think I also banned intercity no you allow intercity trains you oh yeah I don't know if uh, cargo trains count as intercity trains um, so just kept this on in case this blocks cargo trains from going through. But uh, this one is the only one that can technically allow uh, intercity trains because cargo trains are the only ones allowed on this track here. And this track goes all the way into here and works properly so people can go further into the city if uh, deliveries are brought into there and then need to go to this side. But obviously this side has not been connected up properly yet. We'll get to that in uh, in the future. For the time being... Oh, you're empty. Hello. Nice of you to join us. For the time being, I want to have a uh, another situation on this other side. Where I want to... Uh, let's see. What do I want? Yes, I want to have uh, industry. Just a tiny bit of industry on this side of things. So I'll do a simil similar sort of situation as I did there, I suppose. Um, although it would probably be handiest to just pull a dirt road out of thereabouts. I know that's not actually a dirt road, but that is, uh, that's okay. Um, and then upgrade this to just a standard two-lane road. I think they'll do us fine for now. And then you can become a two-lane road as well. Excellent, okay. And then you can turn into... Nope, you need to go a little bit further, my friend. To thereabouts, I guess. Uh, and then let's see. How are you going to fit in there? Not quite perfectly. Let's see. Let's go to M. And drag you to thereabouts. I think that's fine. 
Yeah, I think that's okay. M and all that. Okay, very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, that works. Oh, and it looks like another guy just came in. They're all delivering wood, which tells me that possibly I should uh, get into wood chopping and production and that sort of thing. Uh, I feel like that might be a, a good thing to do. Um, does this count as a forest over here? Like, is this good for wood as a natural resource? Not so much. Where do we have that? I guess that is quite woody, but there's not really any... Ooh, that kind of works, actually. Um, that's a bit inconvenient. This area would be excellent for some woodcutting business. Uh, yeah, but uh, we don't own that bit of land yet, so we can't really do anything about that as of now. However, let's uh, just keep going. It's not really relevant yet, I suppose. You just want some plain old dirty industry. Also, I'm going to upgrade these guys to not have... Uh, let's see. No, I need to toggle you. Right, to not have zoning on it. Because zoning on roundabouts is kind of unnecessary. There we go. Much better. Uh, so now these guys can fully utilize this bit of... Uh, land there so uh, let's uh, let's have that like so um how far are we gonna go into there ish yeah we can just go all the way to there and then one guy in there yeah that works i think that's okay uh this really needs to not get too congested i really hope that uh, that'll work for us but i'm not entirely certain yet um right do you guys have water sort of Right, um, let's just do an action like this about. Uh, do we make this area bigger as well, or should we keep that kind of limited? I feel like we should keep that kind of limited, but maybe we can have it... Right, I'm say as soon as I say something, I do the other thing. I do what I haven't said. So, right, let's uh, do an action like this this you can go in there they'll work flawlessly and you can go to sort of thereabouts and then maybe pull into there oh no you bastard okay one further is it can i do one further nope you're not gonna let me do one further so let's just pull you off there off there perfect okay i'm saying perfect but this is a little bit on the wonky side of things that is, well, it's not super, but we'll deal. Pull you out of there. Pull you out of there. This is such a lovely place to have a prison as well. <laughs> uh, poor guys. Well, you can actually see the prisoners in their little orange jumpsuits and stuff. I've never looked at a prison up close. Hang on. What? Just pause it quickly. What are you? So, were you in prison? Worker at prison, that just makes sense. Worker at prison. I assume this person was a prisoner. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, right, let's uh, let's also get sort of rid of the, the rocks. Can I, can I do that with M as well? Let's um, have a look. Okay, I really think that this is about the density we're gonna stick to for this area because this roundabout is already, I mean, it's not clogged clearly. Uh, but it is getting there, you know. It's uh, at, at certain points in time, it is quite uh, quite busy already. I've been watching this for the last two, three minutes just to uh, see what would happen. Also, I do want to fix this area up. Let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll fix that up a bit better in a second, but just want to make that look slightly nicer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can go to about there, and then erase this side again. It's a bit finicky, the, the painting tool, because it doesn't paint really nicely. It kind of paints in blobs, and it also removes paint layers of the same layer, or of the same color that are already, like, there. So, definitely doesn't work flawlessly. Like here, you can see I didn't touch that, but it's still changed. So, ah, uh, I guess we won't look 
into that at uh, too many times in the future, so it'll be okay. Um, right, is there anything else we want to do to this area to make it function better? I added a gas station and a parking lot, which are both actually parks. Um, and I've added a plaza over here with very dead trees because of the pollution. But uh, yeah, it works and it will keep the factory workers a little bit happier, I suppose. I don't think there's any public transport to this area yet. I might want to extend like a bus line into here. But yeah, for the time being, I think it's, uh, it's all right. Actually, I think there's a bus line that is right there. -ish. Let's uh, have a look at that anyway. I said for the time being it's all right, but if we can just, yeah, if we can just extend the red line to go sort of in there. Uh, let's see, how are we going to pull this off? So something like that and something like that, I guess. And then on the other side and on the other side, where's the bus stop over here? No, let's not do that. Did I not add bus stops on this side? Let's add another bus stop there-ish. Yeah, I think they'll uh, they'll do us good. And then maybe another bus stop like right by the park or something. Uh, I can I feel like I can pull these backwards a little bit to cover a slightly larger area. But uh, yeah, that works. That is uh, perfectly okay with me. So now we have buses flowing from there into here-ish, uh, which will uh, do us good. And that will allow these guys, as we just saw, to uh, to level up. Yeah, upgrade underway. That is uh, very cool indeed. So Goods Unlimited is uh, upgrading. Let's see what it's going to become. Is it going to stay a Goods Unlimited? Is it going to become an entirely different company? No, it's still a Goods Unlimited, it seems. Just a bigger, better one. That is uh, quite cool. That is quite cool to see indeed. I have no idea how we're like doing for education and that sort of thing. I feel like we're moderately undereducated but that is all right for our generic industry areas i think so uh yeah fine for the time being i guess let's uh, slow the time back down right so we're doing all right for industry there um where do we build another industrial area because i want to take off i basically want to completely obliterate this whole upper area again uh, and do something else with that. Actually, how are the natural resources in there? Can we see that? Oh, that would be good farmland, actually. Hmm. But it's also polluted as all hell. And this type of industry is very close by. But then again, farmland might be moderately useful. You know what? Let's uh, just for fun make this upper side here into farms. I feel like that'll yeah, that'll that'll give us something interesting to look at. And I feel that, you know, this this bit of space in here, you know, I feel like farmland might work. I guess we'll uh, we'll see. And it'll definitely make this area a bit less busy. I am 100% unsure what just happened here. I removed a uh like a water heating station on this side. But Oh, you poor bastard. <laughs> but I uh, I put two back over here. And they are connected as well. Right there. And the uh, sewage is clearly flowing. But for some reason... Ordinary water isn't making it. What the hell happened to our water availability? Oh. I see. Right, uh, <laughs> right, that is, uh, moderately problematic. Um, because our, yeah, shite, I removed, uh, some power plants, which, uh, means that we now, yeah, we now have power problems. Um, I want to do something cool with these nuclear power plants at some point in the future, but for the time being, I'm just going to have one there and see if that solves our problems. Yes, that solved our problems. Uh, yeah, so I want to do something cool looking with nuclear power plants in the future. F fucking hell, there we go. Okay, let's have a look if all of this shite resolves itself. 
And <laughs> that's kind of pretty looking, actually. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, ugh, thank God. Okay, we were doing seriously horrible there for a a short moment, but I think let's uh, let's just speed through this. I think we'll be okay again soon. Because all, all sorts of people, as soon as you don't have power and water, people start going out of business and closing down and not bringing in money anymore. So, uh, yeah, now we're back in the plus. Whew, okay. Uh, interesting to have experienced that, I suppose. Right, let's... Uh, you can go... Um, let's pull... Okay, what is a what would be a good farm road? I definitely think... Right, maybe for... Just pulling into there, a standard sort of this type of road is uh, would work, and then maybe another one here because this building, whatever it is, is complaining. Uh, is that hospital? Fire station. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, what are you? You can definitely go, and you can become an office as well, I suppose. There you go. Right, so now we have... You are a bit on the long side, but that's okay. Um, what I want to do... This is already becoming nice and green again. Um, is just kind of pull some slightly random... Um, dirt roads out of here. Because dirt roads just... Just for looks, really. I can up the speed a little bit, perhaps. Um... That's an interesting color. I've never seen that road that dark, but uh, sure. Whatever floats your boat, my friend. Uh, so something like that into there. And then I do want to do some block-like situations, but not make actual proper efficient blocks out of them. Something like that, maybe. And then you can sort of bend into there that's kind of nice right so that's definitely a, a sort of block sort of situation that'll cover a lot of our uh, our land our farm land there as well so that'll be very good um let's see maybe pull a road sort of 45 degree angle out of here is that nicely in the middle that's nicely in the middle uh, 60 45 please thank you uh, make that that long. I'm just doing some random planning here. I mean, I call it planning. It's not exactly planning, is it? Um, just to sort of like down there, and then you can go into there, up in there, and that is kind of frustrating. <laughs> All right, then you can have sort of a bendy road that goes back into there. That's kind of cool. Um, do you want a, a connecting bendy road to go in there? Yeah, why not? Um, and then have like a, a bendy road bend out of there-ish. Do something random there. You can bend up there. And let's have one bend down here, but kind of a shorter bend with a block on the end. Again, no idea what I'm doing, but uh, it'll look somewhat decent, I suppose, in the end. Uh, no, not quite. Let's see. I don't really want you to link up in there, but that's, uh, that's okay. Right, and then one longer one out of there. Uh, out of there into... Ooh, that is not straight. That is really weird what happened there. What did happen there? <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. There was some really strange, slightly... Ah, right. So you're not nice and even. There we go. Much better. And then you can just sort of keep bending, I guess, into thereabouts. Okay, that's definitely a bit odd and nonsensical. Let's have one more bendy row just sort of out of there. Is there something on there? Oh no, that's the, the shadow of a bird that's flying here. Hello, birdie. Cool. 
Okay, um, right, so first, before we do any proper industrial, we are in the minus again. That is odd. Why are we... Why have we run out of water again? Oh. Um, uh, okay. That is now a vicious cycle. <laughs> okay, let's uh, make sure that these guys kind of have their own power supply. That's probably overkill. <laughs> right, the nuclear... What happened there is the nuclear power plant ran out of water, therefore didn't work anymore, therefore didn't supply any power to the water intakes, and... That's why I said it was a vicious cycle. Fucking hell. City management is difficult. <laughs> good, but uh, I have no idea for how many minutes that was the case. But uh, good that I noticed, I suppose. Let's uh, cut you off there. You can be erased nicely. And then you... Ooh. Auto save. Please don't break the game. Thank you. And down there... That's good. Sort of bring that all the way up to the highway. Very nice. Uh, right, what's... Um, hmm. Let's have a... C let's have a C. Um, heated water pipes can go in here as well. No, not quite. Um, yeah, you know what, that's fine. Um... And then one little nubbin out of there. And then into there about. Out of there. And then... Oh, is that... Is that gonna make it? No, that's just... Actually, that, that's probably fine because there is no zoning available in there. So that's, uh, that's probably okay. Vermont Hills. No. Or Vermont Hills. But still, no. Um... Uh, I'll change that in a second, too. Uh, first, though, we need an industrial specialization. Farming industry, yes. Okay, so definitely stuff in here about. I'll, I'll fluff this up and make it actually look nice and stuff, but uh, for the time being, I'll just plonk down some random bits and bobs of farm, I guess. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I know that the farming, um, like, expansion pack has come out as well. Expansion pack? Do you call that an expansion pack still? I don't think you actually do, but uh, that's that's all right. Um, farming, I don't know. There There is a pack that has come out for City Skylines that is somehow related to uh, industries. There we go, industries. Uh, not just farming. Uh, and I really want that pack. I think that'll be very exciting to uh, to work with. Sort of, this can be a, a big one that can go somewhere there. I want to have this one be a little bit random. And immediately, shit is on fire. <laughs> if that isn't a good start for our farmland, then uh, I don't know what is. I also put in just a tiny bit of... Uh, where can we find any? Can we find any yet? No, there's no demand for residential, I suppose. But I added some residential zoning in here as well for uh, good measure, just because our uh, you know our farmers need their uh, their residential situation as well. Um, what do we think? Would they want some commercial area in here as well? I feel like that might be. A nice thing to do for them although we we don't really have a this is such a random area now i i'm not sure if i like it but at least this area here should become relatively uh you know helpful i guess <laughs> yeah farms before the industries pack uh, don't really look very nice at all but uh it'll do it'll do indeed uh <laughs> Yeah, again, don't know if I'm going to keep it like this, but uh, we'll see. Right, let's uh, have a check on the... I really like this, actually. Um, let's have a check over here. How are we doing? Um, yeah, I feel like this uh, this place is doing good. 
people are importing, people are exporting. Now that we actually have some production facilities, we uh, need to export less and perhaps can even start... Uh, no, all the way around. We need to import less, which is uh, going to be very good for us indeed, because they'll cost us less money, obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's quite exciting. Um, right now, I can't really do anything else with this area because there just simply isn't really the demand for more industry. So until there is this area is just gonna kind of have to be what it is now kind of thinly populated um but it works and it's taken some strain off of this roundabout and off of this road how are we doing over here this is still very busy that is this this road is surprisingly not that busy at all which for the connecting road between this part of the city and everything else kind of surprises me. But, uh, you know, I'm glad it works. Uh, what kind of train are you? You're just another random American double-decker. Ooh, ooh, Jesus Christ, you are long. You're not going to fit in here, my friend. Are you just going to despawn when you're done? Let's have a pause. Uh, oh, 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 no, you're actually going to gonna export. Oof, that was a bit glitchy. You're actually going to export again. You're going to push all of that out of the city. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> nice one. All right, how are we doing over here? Right, because this is such a stupidly long train. All of this is backing up. But that should clear out relatively nicely. Let's uh, Let's see. Yes, for some reason people are waiting here, which is uh, a little bit inconvenient. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, and I also don't quite know what I want to do next. Because, well, there's a, a large demand for uh, commercial. I think next up we might just keep expanding into this sort of area and uh, try to make sure that we uh, get a higher population so that we can keep unlocking stuff. Um, I think what I might also want to do is have a a proper industrial area in here, sort of, um, with a, a harbor and that sort of thing so that people can come in from there uh, properly or goods can come in from there properly as well as maybe have a... Or actually, we could have the cargo station here, the cargo docks there, and then the passenger station on, on this side. We shall see, I suppose. But for now, as our industry area is growing slowly but surely, people of YouTube, I'm gonna slow this down. I think it was still at three speed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to push more the positive buttons down below and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.